This video is going to cover a brief tour of your Math 003 Canvas course page. Once you first log into Canvas on the first day of class, you need to click on your home button to go to the home page. Read the recent announcements at the top of the page. You can click on an announcement to open the whole announcement to read. Then you need to go check your Canvas inbox for email messages from the instructor. You need to check this Canvas inbox every time you log into the course so that you will get information about the class. You can click on the announcements page to read any messages that have been posted by the instructor. For the rest of this video, I'm going to use the instructor's view so some of the things on the right of the page will not show on your screen. On the first day of the class, you need to go and click on the welcome message and read the full message. If you are in an online class, it will be the same way whether you're in a seated or an online class. This is a lengthy email, so you may want to print out a copy to read and understand every step you need to do on the first day of class to finish up the Canvas part and also to get into the EdReady class. Once the class is actually started, the last three posted announcements will be shown at the top of the home page. They are not showing yet, but they will be posted at the top of the page so you can read them. Once you read your announcements, then you need to go to the syllabus page. This is going to give you all the information about the instructor, course, class time if it's seated or online, the academic support center, the help desk, etc. that you will need for this class. You can read through the rest of the stuff in here. It's a pretty long syllabus, so I recommend that you print out a copy of the syllabus and read everything in the syllabus. It has a copy of a tentative course schedule at the bottom of the syllabus for all the tiers in EdReady. So I highly recommend that you print out a copy of the syllabus. Then you will click on the modules page. This is where most of your work will be done in the class, especially during the first day of class. You have done the welcome to your Math 003 Transition Math course and are now watching the brief tour video. So you need now to post to the Step 2A introductory forum. You need to read the introductory forum post and reply to the message. You need to do this on the first day of class to be counted for attendance and get started in the course. Do not wait till the deadline date to post to the forum. You need to click on the reply and a box will open for you to introduce yourself to the class. Then information, this information can be basic information about yourself. Then click post reply. Make sure you have read the instructor's post about the class, then click the next button and you will go to the next step. Complete the step 2B COVID-19 information confirmation quiz. Then click the next button. On the step 3 page again is a link to the syllabus. Make sure you have printed out a copy of the syllabus, then go to the next item in the list. Then on step 4, you will determine your tiers for the Math 003 class. Click on the video and watch it, then print out the hand in, handout noted at the bottom of the page. Read the information about the course and how it works and how the tiers are set up with the units and topics noted. Students will be sent an email on the first day of class with which tier they will need to start with. Check your Canvas inbox email for this information. If you are to start with Tier 1, then you will be completing the first eight units of the material in the course for Tier 1. Some of you may need to complete Tier 2 and or Tier 3 as well. This will be determined in the first week of class. Then click on the Next button to go to the next step. This will bring you to the Step 3 or Step 5 Getting Started Quiz. You can take the quiz as many times as needed to make the required 100% score to proceed. You must complete the introductory form first to get to this quiz. You will click on the quiz to open the quiz. Once you are done with the questions, click Submit Quiz to Grade. Then you will know if you have the 100% score to advance the next step. If not, redo the quiz again to make sure that you have 100%. You will see that you have completed all the items in the Getting Started items in the Module button. Once you have completed the Getting Started quiz, once you have completed all the steps in the Getting Started button, 
the course resources will open. Work through the first three links to get to the Working in Ed Ready section. Click on the Where to Find Your Math and Assignments link and read the information here. Then click the Next button. Here's another video on how to navigate in the NROC EdReady system. Open and fully watch the video, then open and print out the process of completing a tier handout. It goes along with the video and will help you as you work in NROC. All tiers work the same. You will follow the instructions noted in the handout as you work through the tier. One of the first items you would do to begin a tier is to take a diagnostic test for the tier. Each tier allows you to use a formula sheet as you take the diagnostic test to begin the tier. Close out this handout to get back to the video tour of NROC Ed Ready step. Then click Next. This is your formula sheet for the diagnostic test in NROC Ed Ready. Click on it to open the formula sheet and to print a copy. Once you have printed the copy, then close out the browser and go to the next page. This will be your next item in the list. Open and print a copy of the Tier 1 Unit Topics list. It has a list of all the units and topics that make up the Tier 1. As you work through the topics, you can use the checkoff list to note the ones that you have done. You will click on the Tier 2 or Tier 3 list so that you can print the one that you need to start with. Then click the Next button. This is your actual link to the NROC EdReady website. To go to the NROC EdReady website, you can click on the link and it will sign you in correctly. This is the only link you are to use to access the NROC EdReady website in this class. Make sure you have watched the video tour of the NROC EdReady website and printed out the handouts on that page before you click on the link. After you have done all the prior steps in Canvas, then you will use the link to NROC EdReady to get to your assignments for the rest of the class. The last thing in the module is a link to the NROC EdReady Help Center. The SEC Help Desk cannot help you with NROC problems. You will need to use the NROC Help Center for technical issues with EdReady. But if you have followed all the steps in the NROC EdReady video, you shouldn't have any problems logging into the class. Once you have completed all the steps in both the Getting Started and the Course Resources modules, you should be ready to start the course. If you have any problems working the steps in Canvas or getting logged into NROC EdReady, then contact your instructor through the Canvas emails so that you can get started in the class. All the Getting Started items need to be done on the first day of class so that you can get logged into NROC EdReady course on the first day of class. Good luck in the course.